Hey no nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching. I'm your teacher Dr. Anam and today we are going to study about conjugated molecules. The word conjugate means to join together. So the conjugated molecules are the molecules which are formed when two different molecules belonging to different categories combine together. When we talk about the categories, it means that there may be carbohydrates, there may be protein, there may be lipids and they are joining together and the new compound which is formed is known as conjugated molecule. There are typically four important conjugated molecules, glycoprotein, glycolipid, lipoproteins and nucleoproteins. First of all, glycoprotein. In the glycoprotein, the word glycoprotein means sugar or carbohydrates so the glycoproteins are the conjugated molecules which are made when carbohydrates and proteins they are joined together glycoproteins they are important for the cellular secretions or mostly cellular secretions are glycoprotein in nature they are also cell surface receptors they are also cell adhesion molecules Along with this, they are also a component of immunoglobins. They are involved in the defense of body and they are the main component of cell membrane. This is the structure of cell membrane and here you can see this is glycoprotein. This part here is protein and this part here is carbohydrate. So they both are combined together to form glycoprotein. The second important conjugate molecule is glycolipid. It is formed when carbohydrates and lipids are combined together. They are also the main component of cell membrane. Here in this cell membrane you can see this is glycolipid. This part here is lipid and this green part here is carbohydrate so they both are combined together to form glycolipid they are very important to maintain the stability of the cell they are important for cell to cell interactions and also adhesion to the neighboring cells to form tissues so they are going to interact with the other cells and in this way the cells they are going to adhere to each other to form tissues the third important conjugate molecule is lipoprotein here the lipo means lipid so it is formed when lipid and protein they both are joined together they make the basic framework of all types of membranes in the cell it means they are present in the membranes of the cells many enzymes they are lipoprotein in nature they are transporters transporters mean that they are going to transport molecules from one part of the cell to another part of the cell or maybe from one cell to another cell they are also part of structural proteins antigens antigens are involved in the defense of the body then adhesions like they are going to help in the sticking of two cells and many toxins they are also lipoprotein in nature here you can see this part all here here, this one is lipid while this part here is protein so they are making the lipoprotein the last but not the least important conjugate molecule is nucleoprotein here the nucleo word means nucleic acid so nucleoprotein is formed when nucleic acid is joined with the protein the most important example of this conjugate molecule is nucleohistones which is present in the DNA where the histone proteins they are going to wrap nucleic acid around themselves so you can see this part here this is histone and on the histone this part here this is the dna which is wrapped around just like we have one ball and on the ball you are going to wrap the thread so the thread is dna and that ball is histone protein these nucleohistones are important structurally and functionally because they are involved in the formation of stable structure of dna and also important in its replication and transcription along with this the nucleoproteins they are also involved in the regulation of gene expression that which gene needs to be expressed and which gene needs to be suppressed so that was all about the conjugated molecules if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section I will see you in the next video.